before I say anything, I think we want to do a big, huge round of applause to Elise and Jackie. Pulling together something like this is a huge headache. It's, it's a labor of love. It's a ton of work. So thank you, a, a standing ovation to you guys for making this happen. I'm like Michael, I apologize for breaking the rules, but um, I, I didn't have all the, a bunch of ahead of time to prepare for this, so I took notes during the day. I was one of those people that Elise saw out there writing things down, and I'll, I'll, I'll share a couple of my insights and leave you guys at the end with, uh, you know, with, a, with an idea of, of what you can do over the course of the next year. So one of the, 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 the things I really noticed today listening to these speeches is how physical leadership is. It's not something that you just do with your brain. You need to use your eyes to pick up on the nonverbal things that you're getting from the people that you're working with or the, the physical cues that are coming from you, from them. You need to use your ears, as we heard so often, so that you're really listening to conversations and not just you know, being in the same room with someone who's talking, but you're hearing and you're responding and reacting to what's going on. You need to use your gut and your core as ways of showing, harnessing the passion that you have there and bringing that to your leadership activity every day. So it's physical, it's sensory, embrace that and it'll make you a better and stronger leader moving forward. The other thing I thought about as I was sitting here is that leadership is really kind of like a diamond. And I was looking at, at, at the, the logo up there which I know it's a pentagon, not a diamond, but bear, you know, go, go, go with me. It's, 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 it's got so many different facets, and you see five up there, but like a diamond that's well cut, there are hundreds, if not thousands of them. And the, the, the things that you can do to lead, I think are limited only by your imagination. So embrace that and look each and every day for new ways and new opportunities that you can lead, and that'll help amplify your impact across your organization and in your life. And I'll close with um, the fact that, as you heard so often, leadership is something that isn't something that you do just at the end of your career. We all have the ability to do it each and every day. So I would suggest, let's every day, let's all of us start our days by thinking, what can I do to lead today? Just pick one thing. And it doesn't always have to be work-related, because as we know, you know, you lead with your spouse, you lead with your children, you lead with your pets. My dog, you know, leads on, needs a lot of leadership. Even in, <laughs> even in your book club, it's all out there. But take a moment each day and think about what you might do to lead. And I'll go on better, maybe write that down. And at the end of the month, Look at all of the things that you've had there and think about that and then double down the next month and then come back next year and share all of the things that you've learned with all of us. Thank you all for coming. Thank everyone who was brave enough to get up here and, and share what the, their insights with you. And I hope that next year we'll have a fantastic new cohort of folks to illuminate and educate and enlighten us. And Enjoy the rest of the great day. Take care.